Hey guys, Kevin with the Weekly Wad Series. Thank you so much for tuning in. Remember, if you like what you see, make sure you like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks, guys. So we're going to end our zone block tutorial this week and last time we were doing this we were able to determine how many blocks that were appropriate for you as, as an individual. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and kind of outline what a day would look like. And we're going to base this off of 16 blocks because that's what we found for myself. So I went through and I just basically blocked out all of my meals for a day and we're going to go through that. So the way I organized my day is I organized my day into a four block breakfast, two block snack, four block lunch, two block snack, and a four block dinner for 16 total blocks. So let's take a look at breakfast. For breakfast, I went ahead and gave myself two scrambled eggs, 180 grams of oatmeal. One block of oatmeal is 90 grams, so that was two blocks of carbohydrates there. And I went ahead and added in 24 grams of protein powder. So with my two eggs and my protein powder, that was my four blocks of protein. This is my two blocks of carbohydrates. And I mixed in there a quarter cup almond milk for my fat. And that's a pretty tasty little thing, combination there. And then I gave myself one apple with two tablespoons of almond, uh, I should say almond butter. Okay, <laughs> don't put almond milk on your apple, it won't taste good. All right. <laughs> so then about, if you were planning out your day, maybe you're eating around 6 or 7 a.m., what you want to do then is eat maybe two and a half, three hours later. And for that, I've just kind of had a quick snack, maybe designed for someone on the go. But uh, if you do this at home before you go, or you have access at work to a blender or something, that's good. But you have 24 grams of protein powder, maybe about one cup of frozen berries for your two grams of carbohydrates. And then if you do a little cup of almond milk, that will take care of your fats as well. So then, about two and a half, three hours after your snack, it's lunchtime. So for here, I've kind of outlined like four, ounce, four ounces of turkey breasts because one ounce is a block of protein, so multiply that by four. Um, and I'm thinking like nice Thanksgiving style turkey breasts, sliced, delicious, with a sweet baked potato, um, two cups spinach salad, and then you can even add maybe one tablespoon of salad dressing on that. This would be considered your fat there and uh, your spinach salad would be another carbohydrate and the sweet baked potato would take up about three usually. And if you wanted to add a little more fat, you could just put a little tablespoon of butter on that sweet potato. And so for my second snack, I wanted to keep this kind of simple. So I just uh, grabbed one apple and then I did 56 grams of cooked salmon and 20 grams of avocado. So um, that makes up a quick little snack, but I just want to make sure to include, I have my proteins, I have my carbohydrate, and I have my fat. And then for dinner, um, I went with 136 grams of baked ham. You could measure that out by ounces too. That would be about four ounces of baked ham. 24 spears of asparagus. 12 spears is one block, so two is uh, 24. Um, I'm gonna add two cups of spaghetti squash because one cup of spaghetti squash is one block. So these together make up my four blocks of carbohydrates. And then for my fats today, uh, for this dinner, I decided to take 12 almonds and chop them up. Take 12 almonds and chop them up. Take 12 almonds and chop them up. Chop them up. And they're really tasty if you sprinkle those on your asparagus and eat them that way. So there you have a whole day outlined of a 16 block menu. And basically, it doesn't have to be this way. So we have these sheets at the box here if you're interested in grabbing those. And we have one block amounts for each item, protein, carbohydrates, fats. And it's basically what you want to do is you just want to sit down on a Sunday. You want to just maybe meal plan. OK, I'm going to buy these items. How many uh, serving sizes does it take to accommodate these blocks? And you just kind of build your meals. Uh, with those blocks. And so that's no different than what I did here. I just sat down, I looked at my piece of paper, I looked at the uh, items on there, and I decided what I wanted to eat, and then I blocked it out. 
Um, one thing you can do is you can make a list of what you're going to buy, and then you can take a look at, and when you're buying food, just make sure you're buying proteins, some carbohydrates, and some fats, and then you can build your meals from there. It's an easy way to do it. I find building a grocery list, making a meal plan, and having a plan, and then building my blocks from what I have is a lot easier than trying to say, okay, so for today I'm going to need some salmon, so I buy a bunch of salmon, but then I haven't planned to eat it. So if you buy salmon, count on doing that for a dinner, for a lunch, for a snack. If you buy chicken breast, make enough for a dinner, a lunch, a snack. Same with eggs, hard boil a few so that you have a few for a snack. Um, don't make it complicated. Uh, the more you do it, the more it will make sense. The more time you spend, the easier it gets, and pretty soon you won't have to actually weigh and measure so much because you have a pretty good idea of what those serving sizes should look like for you. So give it a try, guys. If you have any questions, let us know. Comment below. We'd be happy to tackle any of the questions that you have. Um, other than that, I know that with the diet challenge going on, there's a lot of great things happening. And uh, this might be a great thing to look at to make sure that you're eating enough. And I know that you're all using a cool app that will allow you to make sure you're getting enough calories and make sure you're meeting that goal, at least within to 100 to 200 calories, because the last thing you want to do is underfeed. We want to make sure we have enough energy that when we get into the gym, we can attack our workouts hard and also have enough energy to sustain us through the day. So remember, your goal is to eat enough to support exercise, but not body fat. Okay, guys? Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, so for our water reveal this week, we're going to uh, we're gonna do something a little different, something that you're going to add a little heavy component to, and then you're going to com complete some reps that are pretty similar to Cindy. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to do five rounds. Okay, and for those five rounds, you're going to perform one power snatch. I got the power. It's getting, it's getting, it's getting kind of heavy. It's getting, it's getting, it's getting kind of heavy. Oh, 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 oh. At 185 for guys, 125 for the ladies. So this is just a challenge. I'm just kind of curious to see uh, where people are at with that. I, I think I would have to scale that number. Um, one power snatch, five pull-ups, 10 push-ups, 15 air squats. So again, um, this shouldn't be a super long workout, but it is going to challenge you uh, with this power snatch. And then also, if you're just starting to get pull-ups, there's another challenge where you can try to complete those because the reps number are pretty small. So you can kind of attack those. Um, have fun with this one, guys. I know it's a little different. There'll be some cool stuff to do before you even do this workout. So look forward to seeing everyone this week. You guys are looking great. I know you're feeling great. Keep up the hard work on the diet challenge. Uh, we're all super proud of you guys. We're all excited about it. And uh, this team challenge has been a lot of fun. So get in here, get this wad done, and we'll see you this week, guys.